It is time to start uh, uh, the second talk, and I'm really happy to introduce Shao uh, Du from Capital Norman University from Beijing with the talk on the Bernays Gdici conjecture. The floor is yours, Shao Okay, okay. Thank you, Yinna. And uh, thank you very much. I'm very glad to see my old friend and a new friend in here. Uh, so this talk, I uh, would like to talk about some uh, one of conjecture, Brunis and Judith's conjecture in the permutation group theory. Okay, I have a six uh, small topic in this, uh, in this uh, talk. Uh, first of all, I introduced some the basic definition for base, suborbit, and structure graph, and talk about some bond for the gravity group or BG. Uh, then we talk about the, uh, the conjecture of such a graph. Uh, this is posed by the Brunis and the Judith. And uh, say something about a probabilistic method in the permutation group theory. And then we, we release some result about this, about this conjecture. Finally, we talk about our work. Okay, we we'll started from very basic definitions. Uh, let the G be a Chance the group third group on the omega. So for a subset of omega, we call it a base for G if the step ladder of this delta uh, is identified. It means the fixed point wise, all the point of the delta is trivial, is subgroup is trivial. And so base size means the smallest base, the side of smallest base. We call it the base size uh, denoted by BG, uh, BG. And uh, so for this data, we call it the base size site. Okay. Base size site, the size of the base size. Uh, let's see some example. <laughs> so we, you see the measure action on the endpoint, so this symmetric group. The B S N is n minus y. So if you fix n minus a point, then last point is uh, is uh, must fixed. Okay. For a n is uh, just an n minus two. Uh, this is very easy to see. So in the linear group, the linear group is uh, transitive on the non-zero vectors. So if you fix one base for linear space, then you fix each element. So this B is N for this group. The third one for the sharp key transfer group, BG as a key, uh, the by the definition, uh, the fixed key point is trivial, is trivial. And for a for base group, BG as a two, BG as a two. That means uh, the point step later, F of G alpha, fix other point beta, then it must be identified. This is a definition of a probability group. So this is a roughly boundary for this group order for G. So if you have a size delta, then the order for G is no more than this number. Uh, and this is very easy to see, actually. Uh, so N is N G alpha. And the G alpha acting on the remaining si site you, you have this, then you have this, finally, uh, you, you get this, uh, NB. Okay, what is a suborbit? That means the orbit of G, okay. The first one is a trivial suborbit. The alpha is a one orbit. Uh, for example, you have uh, another R minus one, delta one, delta R minus one. Altogether, you have R, number R of orbits, suborbits. So these are called the rank of G, uh, rank of permutation. So the, this is the sub degrees, sub degrees. So what is a regular suborbit? Means the G alpha uh, direct regular on the, this suborbit. So you have these uh, equations. So the following is the uh, two classical result. Uh, for the primitive group, which is not regular, you have n minus y, uh, alerts are equal to n i, 
prime n two minus one. This is very classical result. Uh, the second one is uh, if n two is two, that means that you have a suborbit with two points. Then this 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 g it must be dihedral group of order two p p is primer primer. This is a suborbit. Uh, you see, by the definition, if BG is two, that means G alpha, fixed beta, the must have identity element. That means this. If and only if there are some regular suborbit. So G alpha acting on the orbit, suborbit, uh, containing beta. Uh, it's a regular, a regular suborbit. Uh, one of the, the structures project means was to classify primitive group with BG as two. I classify all, define all of such primitive group with BG as two. So it's AN as N uh, is done by James in 206. For the sporadic sub, uh, sporadic group, a uh, uh, for pass result on some class group. Uh, also, we have some result, a uh, uh, Then for the diagonal twist and affine, there are some partial result, partial result. Mm. Uh, okay, let's concentrate on the group on the BGS2. Uh, take alpha in omega. Let gamma is a uh, Union of all regular suborbit, delta i. Uh, since BGS2, you have at least one regular suborbit. Uh, you combine them together, all of a suborbit, you, you make a big, big, sub, big, big subset, sir, the gamma. So, how bigger is the gamma? Uh, how bigger is the gamma? Mm. Sometimes it's very bigger, sometimes very small. Uh, for example, uh, here you can have two point, a very small two point. Also for a, for, for a business group, you have just a, a minus one, uh, the size of omega minus one, right? You can very, very big and very small. Then we can define a one of group. Uh, to take omega is the vertices, edge set like this. The neighbor of alpha is this delta, uh, the gamma. So gamma is a union of suborbit. This is then you use the action of G. This is all of the uh, edge set. Uh, by the definition, uh, this graph is arc sensitive, just by definition. Uh, this graph we call it a structure graph defined by this gamma. In other words, beta gamma is the edge. If and only if beta gamma is a, a base. Because the uh, edge from alpha and take, when, take any point from gamma, this one edge. This gamma belongs to some suborbit, regular suborbit. That means the beta gamma is a base. Is a base. So this structure graph we also call it basic graph. Uh, this is very uh, clear. Uh, you can define the by base. Uh, let's talk about the some bound for the BG for a primitive group. <clears throat> so in 1993, uh, Cameron and Cantor has such a, a conjecture. For almost a simple primitive group G, uh, we have a constant C such that BG are no more than C. Uh, this is conjecture. Of course, apart from some standard case, what means standard case? Uh, means some subset for alternating group or subspace action for classic group. Classical group. There are some class, uh, classical group uh, acting on some standard subs subspace. Uh, cannot have such properties. Uh, generally, you have such properties. Mm. Uh, we talk some result on this conjecture. Mm. So the fixed G means the number of fixed point of G. Uh, it's a fixed G. A fixed T means uh, maximum fixed G. Uh, it's a fixed uh, big G. So minimal degree means 
omega side of omega minus fixed g, that means the number of point can be moved by g, by g. Uh, fixed erosion means uh, this fixed g divided by side of omega, fixed small g. Uh, for big g, you have this, you have same things, this fixed erosion. Okay, you see this is that uh, uh, with some uh, exceptions. Uh, this Russia G less than two over three. Uh, this is by Libet and uh, uh, Also, it was improved by um, one over two by by them. Uh, it's uh, improved. Uh, and uh, another is that, uh, except for uh, G is sort of G is this three group. Uh, G is almost a small group of Lee type. Then uh, this number smaller than this number. Uh, this is by Lee Beck and section in 1991. This is another result. Uh, except for the subspace, uh, uh, this number is uh, you have bound for this for this number. Uh, this GM means uh, you have group G, uh, it's classical group. You take a maximum subgroup M, then you can define the permutation group, primitive group. Then you have this bound errors. Finally, this conjecture uh, was fit fixed. Uh, that means uh, by the Liebeck and, and the chef. Suppose G is almost a simple primitive group, then either G S A N S N acting on the K subset or a partition of N into K parts of the same size. This is uh, exceptions. Or G is a classical group in a subspace uh, group. Subspace group means that the, uh, you have G, you have maximum group M. M is some fixed some subspace. This is a uh, one of exceptions. So finally, generally you have this bond, uh, BG is smaller than constant C. Uh, this conjecture is fixed. Mm. <clears throat> okay, let's come back to the Brunitz conjugates conjecture. <clears throat> so uh, that a conjecture of a structure graph uh, posted by Brunitz and Judis, Judis. Uh, they found that the let G be a primitive group with a BG as a two, uh, BG as two. Let gamma is a, be the union of a regular suborbit relative to alpha. They already defined is gamma. So for any beta is alpha G is not contained in gamma. We have intersect, intersection of gamma and the gamma G is an, is not empty set, I'm set. So you have you can find some common point belong to this gamma and gamma g. This is a, a conjecture uh, by Brunish and Judith. Then you have most a strong version. That means you have same condition uh, for any beta in omega. You can it, it's gamma beta maybe in gamma. Uh, so for any beta in omega, you have this. Uh, this is the most strong version, most strong version. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we, uh, we description this conjecture by the graph theory. So, uh, let G be from the group with the BGS2. Then other G is a Frobenius group, Frobenius group. This diameter is the one actually, because of the take alpha, other point is belong to the, uh, just one suborbit, uh, just uh, this is rank two from, from this group, alpha and other, other set. Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, this diameter is two, mm. diameter is two. This is the same with about conjecture. Uh, uh, this is another version, a strong version. Uh, let G be prompt group of BGS2. So in such a graph, any two vertices has a common neighbor. Uh, has come in labor. Mm. Let's just see this picture. The picture very clear. You see, this is alpha. 
the labor is this gamma. It's all of point belong to one of the regular suborbit, the union of suborbit, regular suborbit is a neighbor of alpha. So first version, take any beta in here, a beta is alpha g, beta is not in, not in this gamma. So you have, you have common neighbor, uh, the beta here, here is common. This, this point is neighbor of alpha or neighbor of beta, uh, this conjecture. Uh, the second case, you can take the beta, take beta one is in the gamma, uh, in the gamma. Then uh, you have common neighbor uh, of alpha and beta one. Uh, so as this is uh, a two, two conjectures, uh, weak version and the strong version. Altogether for any beta, beta may be alpha. Of course, they, are, they have common neighbors. Maybe here, maybe here. Uh, this is diameter two means, means diameter one, diameter two. Mm. Uh, so in graph language, it's a very clearly, it's conjecture. Uh, by this picture, you see, if the side of gamma is more than half of the side of omega, uh, then you must have common neighbor. So the, 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 this, this conjecture is hard, it's a, a conjecture is hard. Uh, if gamma is more than half of omega. Um, but in many cases, this does not hold. <clears throat> uh, so in the proof, uh, many people use the probabilistic method. Uh, let me introduce the, what is a probabilistic method. <clears throat> okay, uh, give a simple group G, uh, generated by two element x, y. Randomly choose the pair x, y. So the probability is, uh, is one. That means almost uh, all the pair can generate a simple group G, a simple group G. Uh, so let P, X, G as the probability of X such that G generated by x, y. So for given y, uh, here's any pair, here's given y, uh, you, you check this uh, probability of x. Uh, here is, uh, this is a p minus, that's the minus of this p, x, g. Uh, there we have the, the probability is one, as y. For the classical group, uh, is, um, this is one. Uh, here is another result. Uh, take a maximum subgroup M of G. Uh, G is almost a classical group. Then for any X in G of primary order, a primary order element, you have some epsilon such that uh, this XG means a conjugate class of X, uh, the set of context class of X. Uh, so this, this XG intersects with M is less than this number, uh, this number yeah, for some constant epsilon. Uh, this is the result. Uh, uh, by this result, we can compute this. So take a X of primary order of element, take X. Uh, so ratio G uh, like this, uh, this is the size of omega. Here is uh, a number of fixed point of X. Uh, then you can uh, compute uh, this number, uh, compute this number. Uh, so here is, uh, uh, here is some, uh, some formulation, uh, some, some method to compute the fixed number. Uh, uh, I don't want to uh, make detail in here. Uh, then you can, uh, by this result, you can have the, this value, uh, this value. This is one of the formula we, we can we, we, we shall use it. Uh, okay. Uh, let QGB uh, is the probability of random choosing B tuples from omega, such that these B tuples cannot be a base of G, cannot a base of G. Uh, that means step later of this B tube is not a trivial. So this is not a, not a base, not a base. Uh, 
uh, let B is a set of element of primary order in G with this X1, XR a set of representations of the G conjugate. conjugate. And the PM is the set of element prime order in M. M is the maximum subgroup. Uh, you have some X1, XR, uh, a set of representatives of M conjugate. conjugate. Not that every B tube, which does not form a base for G, must be fixed by a non trivial subgroup. Uh, that means this B tube is not a base. Otherwise, it's identity. So this B tube uh, fixed by the non trivial subgroup, it must uh, fix by at least uh, an element of primary order. Uh, primary order. This is a key point for the probabilistic method. So fixed by a non trivial subgroup, we can fix by at least one of primary element of primary order. Okay, we compute this uh, QBG. Uh, so here is, uh, you can take a B element from omega, uh, the number of the probability, uh, number, number of this uh, B tube, any, you can take any from omega B tube. Uh, here is uh, uh, this B tube, R of one, R of B. That means that this, Step later is non trivial uh, it's all of this. Mm. Then smaller than this, this, then this. Uh, use the formula we mentioned before. Mm. Okay. Let's just talk about uh, BGS2. Uh, we take two points, BGS2. Let gamma is a union of regular suborbit. Mm. Okay. Here is the side of omega square. Here is a square, the B, uh, B is two square. You take any omega element from omega. Here you take any element out of a gamma. That means here is not a base, uh, is not a base. That means QG2. Uh, this QG2 uses this uh, formula. Uh, uh, you, can, you can have this, you can have this. Okay. If QG2 is smaller than one over two, uh, if this is smaller than one over two, then you can have gamma larger than half of order of uh, half of size of omega. So the conjecture is true. I can show. So that was a probabilistic method when you compute this QG2, then the conjecture is true. Uh, but in many cases, you cannot have this. So in this, in that case, uh, this method is done to work. Uh, done to work. Uh, this is my point. Mm. Uh, let me give an example. Mm. Uh, take a G as a PSL to P. This is uh, a uh, simple group. M is uh, A5. So this is a condition. P is a uh, motor 10 is a uh, um, uh, minus uh, in the plus matrix uh, one. Uh, you have such a maximum subgroup. Uh, of course, you can determine all of the suborbit uh, by computation, but the very, it's very, very complicated. You can, you can do it. So we can use the uh, uh, probabilistic method. Okay, take a two, three, five. This is all of the uh, element, the order of element, primary element, because in A5, you have two, three, five, three primers. So use the, use this, uh, use the, this uh, formula. Uh, you use this formula. You can compute QG2 like this, like this. Then you can check this uh, less than one and a half. Mm. FQ is more than 41. Then the conjecture is true. Uh, for some small values, Q, 9, 10, 9, 11, 9, 90, 19, uh, 
uh, this is omega, but this data is zero, uh, is zero. Uh, for these two numbers, uh, we can do it by magma. Uh, this conjecture is true. <clears throat> but this is very, but if you don't use this uh, method, you, you determine the suborbit that is very long and make it more than 10 pages to compute this. So this is a sum of result, a non result about the conjecture. Uh, conjecture. Uh, you can check this paper right. by the Brunis and uh, Judis. Okay. Mm. Uh, because we just talked about the primitive group, uh, you have uh, this onus called theorem. Uh, for diagonal typo, uh, that diagonal typo, uh, B T is a non abelian simple. Mm. So uh, B G is a two, if and only if this P G is a, uh, Alternating and symmetric group of degree k. What is PG? Because by the diagonal table, you have a permutation uh, around, around this, uh, this uh, number k of t. Uh, you have such permutation group. If it is not k, k as k, then it's a two. Mm. Then if the order of g is, uh, is big enough, uh, this QG uh, intends to zero. That means the, the probability method is, uh, can be used, then the con conjecture is true. Uh, for the twisted rest product group, uh, this is this type of group. Uh, they, they show that if G is P, uh, this P is a primitive in SK, then G is large enough. Uh, this is some exception of a small number of G. Uh, then the then conjecture is true. true. Mm. For the affine parameter group, product type, uh, we have no general result, just uh, some example, some constructions. Okay, for the big class of almost the simple, simple uh, parameter groups, uh, so, uh, first of all, for some alternating group and symmetric group G, uh, uh, F B G is two. Uh, this H is a, a maximum subgroup on group G. Uh, then you can have primitive representations. Uh, so, if you have some condition uh, uh, in intersection of G with T, uh, T is a so-called an X primitive on the this n point n point then the conjecture is true. The other case is still open, still open. Uh, how about sporadic group, a sporadic group? Uh, for this 19 and uh, 17 group, uh, uh, it was approved, the conjecture is true. For other eight groups, uh, we have some partial result, partial result. Uh, for the monster group, uh, uh, it's just a partial result. Uh, all of the result is uh, done by the Brunis and the Judith, uh, Judith in this paper. paper. Mm. Okay, uh, what is the Lee type of group? Uh, because the, the, the big class of group is a Lee type group. Uh, so far, there is no classification uh, for, for this Lee type of group. So the first uh, thing we, we, we tried the uh, uh, PSL to Q. Mm. This is done by the, uh, the doctor, uh, Dr. Hu, Hu Ye Chen, uh, it's a Sri George University, uh, and myself. Uh, uh, this is our result. Mm. Uh, let the G be almost a simple group with so called PSL to Q. Uh, of course, Q is larger than five. Uh, uh, I should be any maximum subgroup of G. Uh, omega is the right coset G H in G. Then you can have the, you consider the right multiplication for G on omega. Then you can got all of the primitive group. Uh, uh, by the PSL to Q. Mm. Suppose the BG is two. There are some cases B is not a two. Actually, suppose the BG is a two. Uh, 
then a such a group has a diameter two. That means its conjecture uh, is true. Is true. Mm. So the we already submit the the reverse version, but still not accept, accepted from now uh, here now. And this is thirty four pages uh, in here. Uh, and this uh, wonderful work. Mm. Also, the Hu Ye and me, we, we work on the Suzuki group, uh, Suzuki group, also regroup. regroup. Uh, this group is finished, finished. Mm. You know, all these two group is uh, the lead type of group of rank and wine, uh, rank and wine. There are another group of rank and wine, uh, PSR3U, uh, PSU3Q. Mm. Uh, we still meet a very difficult, very difficult problem. We, we cannot uh, fix it. We'll still work on it. Mm. Uh, why? Because the <clears throat> so FG has a PSU3Q. Uh, actually, has a PSU3Q. Uh, this is a maximum subgroup. You can see that this uh, the, the set of right, uh, right coset. Uh, mm. Then you detect U as a unitary polarity. polarity uh, the H is a Hermitian variant. That means O absolute, absolute point of U. Uh, here's the, the number of this H is Q, Q23 plus one. You take O is the orthogonal polarity uh, such that O U and the U O uh, this commutes, commutes, these two polarity commutes. Then, then you take the sigma is uh, uh, PG2 Q square, uh, PG2 square. Yeah. Because the defined group, P, U, U group, you must have such a big field. Big field. Mm. Then the sigma zero is uh, the set of fixed by this V. Uh, v is the U zero, U O. You see that we have U, U, uh, o, U and U O. Uh. Then we can check the sigma zero as uh, the, the projected geometry uh, on the FQ, on the Q. You take alpha as intersect of H with this uh, zero, zero. Mm. This is a neighbor, uh, this, then this omega. Okay, omega can be identified this number. number. Uh, still, we cannot fix this, uh, this, uh, this group. Uh, it's, a, it's so difficult. Uh, difficult. Uh, if we finish this, we can, we can class of, uh, Proves conjecture by, uh, by all of a rank, uh, lead type of group rank one, rank one. Uh, uh, I know the, the Brunis and the Huang. Huang is, is one of student of Brunis. Uh, uh, they proved conjecture for primitive group with a soluble stabilizer, a soluble stabilizer. Uh, in their work, a uh, strong version conjecture for PSR2Q was approved. Uh, we just uh, do the first version, uh, means uh, this beta is not in gamma. Uh, 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 they use our result to compute the mode that on uh, the strong version for PSR2Q. Uh, let's just talk about uh, the, uh, how to prove this uh, conjecture by PSR2Q, okay. Uh, you take group G uh, between PSR and the P gamma error. The circle is the PSR. You need, need to consider all of G between PSR and the P gamma error. Okay, you take a M is a maximum subgroup of G. That will be a point stable G alpha. You should consider all of sub maximum subgroup of G under the conjunction, under the uh, conjunction. Uh, that means you, you consider all of a primitive representation of G uh, on each M. So well, let K is a stable layer of G alpha, uh, is K. Then you have such a series, series K, G alpha, G alpha maximum in G. What means the valence of the such a graph? Valence means the size of dark, gamma, uh, all the union of a regular suborbit. That means the, omi the, the size of omega uh, minus alpha, the alpha means, this one means alpha. 
uh, delete alpha. Here's uh, alpha beta. That means G alpha beta is not a shiver. That means alpha beta is not a base, not a base. So this is the size of uh, gamma, size of gamma, this valence. So uh, if you want to work on this group, uh, uh, we, ha we have to use the, the classification. Uh, this is classical result. Uh, uh, each maximum subgroup of P as L to Q as one following. Uh, there are several families. Uh, the first of it is, is the dihedral group of Q minus one. Uh, Q minus one. Uh, this Q minus one subgroup uh, uh, has a semi-regular action, no fixed point. The second class is Q minus one. Uh, here's Q plus one. Here's Q minus one. Uh, this is the first two class. Also, uh, this is a P as a two PM, uh, because uh, here is a Q. Uh, Q as a P two M uh, for some M. So this is a maximum sum group. Uh, either this is an order or P as a two and uh, M is two M. Uh, this is a maximum sum group. You need to consider this group. Mm. Also, in some condition, you can have A5 as maximum subgroup. Also, S4 and A4. Uh, this is the Frobenius group, uh, JPN. Uh, and uh, the, actually, this is a point stabilizer, a point stabilizer of the PSL2Q acting on the project line, line point. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an, another kind of maximum subgroup, uh, PGL2PM. If n is two times m, uh, so you need to consider all of these cases uh, in the theorem one by one, one by one. Uh, to prove theorem, some of the graph theory method also we use some number theory and finite theory, finite field theory, uh, including V theorem. For example, sometimes you need to know the size of this. So this n is the, it's in the, in the, in the finite field FQ. n is a non-square element. Uh, S is a square element. S star is a non-zero square element. So for any element T, uh, so this is a subset, this subset, this three subset, intersection of three subsets, three subset, we should have such a boundary. We have this number. Uh, we prove this. Uh, by the V theorem, V, v theorem. Mm. For example, we use we also use this result. Uh, uh, the extents of a primitive solution, so X a primitive element in the finite field FQ, uh, such that uh, X a solution for this uh, for this equation. Uh, so here the, is uh, the polynomial F X is a degree four. A degree four. We have such a new result. This is done by, by Dragon, Claudia, and myself. Uh, when we do other problem, Hamilton I mean circle problem, uh, we prove such a result. That then we can use it in our paper, this paper. Mm. Uh, so th this, this is uh, uh, my part. Then, then I, I change another, I change another. Uh, let me just take a take a look a quick uh, quick look for for this paper. Uh, uh, you can find it in the archive. <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, I just said we we do we need to discuss uh, the case one by one. Okay, the first case is like this. Mm. So uh, you take M is uh, this subgroup. Mm. Okay, like this. Uh, G as a P as L to Q. Uh, the M is uh, D Q plus one. This is a maximum subgroup. Then we we can we want to show the conjecture. Uh, because this case, the probabilistic method doesn't work. Doesn't work. Mm. Okay, this is a result I just uh, uh, proved, which we proved by the professor Ben. Uh, uh, we proved this, uh, this number. Uh, then you use the uh, V theorem uh, to, to determine this number, uh, this number. Uh, uh,
I just say we use some group theory method. Uh, that means in, in the middle, I define the graph. Uh, uh, let I is, uh, the, I is a set of involution, uh, A, B is involution. The alpha, beta, the, the D is a set of the subgroup isomorphic D minus uh, Q plus one. Uh, then I, I want to define the graph. Uh, uh, I define the graph. Mm. It's a bipartite graph, I and it's a vertex side. I and D. Uh, so A uh, alpha is edge if the alpha, this involution belongs to this dihedral group, uh, D Q plus one, then you can have edge. Uh, so I discussed, that we, we studied this uh, uh, adjoint graph, graph uh, a perpetual graph. Mm. Then we prove this uh, graph with this uh, diameter four. Uh, uh, then use this formula uh, we determine some of the property for this graph. Uh, it, it, it's a con quite complicated. Uh, uh, okay, after the finish the TS error uh, with the DQ plus one, then you need to start the P gamma error, uh, this group. That means uh, the group PS error extended by the field automorphism. Mm. Then this M is uh, the the n time, the, the bigger, m is bigger than m zero. Oh. Uh, you, then you study this group, prove the conjecture. Uh, finally, you, you prove this uh, man theorem for this group, uh, for this group. It's uh, more than 10 pages with, with this uh, one group, actually, just uh, some computation, computations. Mm. Okay, th this is third one. Third one is uh, this maximum subgroup is a PSL to PM for some special M, uh, for some special M. Uh, for this group, uh, we determine all of a suborbit, uh, suborbit. Uh, actually, this group can be used a probabilistic method, can be used, uh, actually. Uh, okay, Let, this is the third class, third group. For the M is uh, uh, Q minus Y, uh, this maximum sum group. Uh, here the commutation is different from the other, other two. Uh, uh, for example, I Here I used the, uh, I used the, our that in the in the number theory is that uh, that, uh, so we find a parameter element u in this equation uh, in this equation. Uh, uh, oh, this is a degree two. Oh, I forgot the degree two. Mm. Okay. Uh, so we have we have three family uh, P D Q plus one and P S L two P M and D Q, Q minus one uh, is the main part. The other other is very simple. It's just use a uh, probabilistic method. For example, the if this is a four, uh, they can just use this this uh, <laughs> probabilistic method uh, more than uh, a half a half. They can use it. For S4, the same method. Then the, for A5, mm. just this. Oh. Uh, okay, Th that's all, Claudia. Uh, so that's called Irina uh, finished. Okay. Okay, any mm. questions to show, please? Can I ask a question? Yes, yeah, sure, yeah. Natalia, please. Uh, hi, Shafi. It's nice to see you. Uh, there are some new results, and I know that uh, there are some results by uh, Evgeny Vdovin and Viktor Zinkov and by Anton Baikalov 
on base of uh, fine groups uh, with soluble point stabilizer and so on. And now I will send some references to chat. And can you, what do you think? Can your uh, new results uh, improve some bounds or something like that? Sorry. Uh, you have received, uh, you have sent new results possible. Uh, these results can improve something in upper bounds, which we are obtained before. Mm. Upper which kind of upper bounds? Mm. I know that there were results on um, basis of transitive permutation groups with soluble point stabilizers. Mm -hmm. Uh, the reference now is in chat. Uh, possible your results can improve something, some places. Uh -huh. you, I'm not sure that it works. Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, and look please to the reference from the chat. My, sorry. I, can you repeat it's a problem, Illa? No, 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 it's okay. Uh, well, there's no problem. Actually, uh, Natalia uh, sent you uh, a reference to your paper, which yes. maybe she thought that it may be useful for you to get some new results. So, oh, could I please check thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you. Mm. Okay, mm. thank you, Natalia. Mm. Any further questions to Shaofei? Well, but uh, for which groups this conjecture is still open? Many, many. Most uh, uh, lead type of groups still are open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, which case is more difficult, by your opinion? What do you think? Of course, the lead type of group is more difficult. You see, just uh, this, this is very, very simple, simple, simple group, PSS2Q. Right. <laughs> take long computations. Right. Yeah. 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 But in many cases, it can be, it can be done by by the pro probability method. Many cases. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hi, Gary. Right. Yeah. Hi, Shafei. I have a question for you. Oh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Why are the affine groups so apparently so difficult? You mentioned very few results about primitive groups of affine type, you would think it should be easy. It's just linear algebra, but um, uh -huh. maybe it's a lot harder than that. Can you explain why it's so hard? Mm -hmm. Thank you. For well, affine group, maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe easier you, you, you are. Oh. Thank you. Well, but Shalfe, do you think it is not difficult case? Which case? The... Affine. 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 Affine group. Yeah, yeah. Gar Garage side, maybe affine groups may be easier compared to other cases are fine. Because you can use the linear linear algebra to compute right. things. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Mm. Okay, thanks. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, any further questions to Shalfe? Okay, if not, then uh, let us thank Shaofi again. Thank you very much. We hope that uh, uh, the paper will be published soon. Yeah, <laughs> good luck. Yeah, good luck with this. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah.